to you. Yes, it's the Trans Tasman test on the Cuppity Coast. Take Chess and cross it with Billions, you get croquet. Take New Zealand, cross it with Australia, and you have a showdown. Whether it's on the rugby field or on the croquet green, the Trans Tasman rivalry is always there. The Australians are on the Carpeti Coast this week trying to win their first Trans Tasman Test Series since the first time it was held in 1991. And with two members ranked in the world's top 10, they look confident. Australian number one and world number three Trevor Bassett says it's about time they took the top prize. It's been a while, uh, 12, 12 odd years I think, so uh, yeah, it would be good to uh, finally take the trophy back home. The 23-year-old puts an end to the thought that croquet is for the older generation. And he says there's no letting up for his seniors. They say, oh, you better be nice and give them a break down for them and things like that. That's right on club day, but uh, you get out here in a tournament and it's, it's full on. At the other end of the scale, New Zealand legend Bob Jackson started playing before his Australian counterpart was even born. And ranked 16th in the world, he can still foot it with the young ones. <laughs> After two days, the first test was tied, meaning the Australians need to win the last two in order to waltz away with the silverware. They say each match could take up to nine hours. To be honest, I don't see what's so hard. All you do is hit the ball through the hoop. Scott assures us as if it did go through the hoop. Don't believe him, though. That's it from Sports Tonight. For